this is kind of a final piece for Christmas. It's actually um, the 26th of December. These uh, Star Shower Motion laser lights from Home Depot have a couple of modes. They have green only and then red and green mixed. Um, these are normally, I've seen them anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks. BJ's had them the least amount. Uh, I think it was like 40, 45. Um, Home Depot had them, which is where I got these. And Lowe's, I believe, had them earlier in the season. Uh, as I mentioned, these go for 40 to 50 dollars. And um, on December 24th, Home Depot had them for like 24.88 or something like that. So about half price. Um, I was skeptical about buying them for 50. However, for 25, I'm actually pretty surprised. Um, because they use lasers, it, it does a, quite a better job. And on the box, it says, you know, for a better effect, buy two or more. And, um, you know, it might sound like a sales pitch, but to be honest with you, I think that's uh, right on mark. Um, what I'm about to show you is uh, a final look at my decorations, because I did make a couple of little changes. And then... Um, you know show you the lasers in a couple of different ways whether it's overlapped or not so here we go so here we have the tree I ran short on lights I thought I had plenty but I'm waiting for them to go down less than 50% at Lowe's and Home Depot before I pick any more the camera quite doesn't catch how well it looks but it's actually not too bad um, you know I got about half the bottom half of the tree done now as we step over here I used a, a leftover set of red to kind of wrap the tree they started falling with the weather and the wind so they used to be all over the base they actually have lights it's light sets specifically for that um, purpose to wrap around it's like a netting there's a uh, Santa Claus on his Harley and Santa Claus um, on his uh, I don't know water boat uh, as I mentioned there was another one but that was defective out of the box uh, and again we have the Merry Christmas below the big window some lit trees some candy canes these were a bargain I think there were six bucks uh, sorry ten bucks the six candy canes total I kind of wish I got the taller ones these I got for Lowe's from Lowe's um, as we go further you will see the uh, Santa stop here if I turn on my little light above my camera this is the seam I recently reviewed uh, Santa stop here it looks pretty decent um, also, the joy above the garage door, uh, more lit trees, lit bushes, pathway, and uh, those globes on the trees, kind of hard to see, but I don't think they're faring too well. The batteries are junk. That's cheap, cheap junk. So these lights, here's one in action. Again, these are lasers, so don't look directly into the light. Um, there's a couple of modes. So first of all, <clears throat> you should plug these into constant power. They have the, and not on a like a, a switch or a timer or anything. Um, they remember the last mode as long as they don't lose power. So that being said, um, if you put it on a, a timer switch, when it turns on, it will go into what I'll call this steady mode where nothing moves. That's one that moves. I have two of them. That's one that doesn't move. Um, if you leave it plugged in and you put it on a certain mode, I'll just touch this again, you'll see that it's moving again. Um, there's also, uh, this is the red green mode, so it does both, and then green only. I don't know why they didn't do just a, a red only, but I felt, I guess they felt it, whatever, whatever reason. So, just green looks pretty good too. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do some overlapping with these lights. So, you can get the effect of how two sets, well, it'll be four sets. I picked up another two today because it was even lower pricing, you know, on a lot of the stuff. Uh, and these lasers, you got to be careful. They say not to point them up because, you know, low-flying planes, yada, yada. As you could see, you might see some tinkling in the sky. That's just uh, the lights going slight over peak on the roof uh, and hitting some of the branches in the yard. So uh, now I'm going to set up a couple of overlapping ones. Stand by. Quick note before I set them up. These come with two bases. There's a screw and flap base you could put on hard surfaces, and then there's a stake. I was able to use the stake on the grass, but where I have like, I don't know, just this uh, area between the garage and the home, the grass was, uh, the dirt was too hard to push it in because I originally plugged in the ones, um, the other stakes in the yard uh, a month or so ago. Um, 
so I'll be using the flat base on the harder surface and the spike on the softer but I just want to point out that it did come with uh, two the one annoying thing is the cord is really short so you gotta make sure you run a, a cord really close by to these uh, it is a replaceable uh, DC jack you can unscrew it but where you'll find these uh, you know in a year or two if they're even available is, is another good question so I'm gonna go back to setting these up so one of the lasers were bad when I was in the store I said to the guy I said do you have somewhere where I could plug these in to test them he goes why wouldn't they work out of the box I go well it's gonna sit in the box for a year and I'm sure glad I tested it because the green isn't working on one so uh, now I have to go through the delightful process of returning one of them because the guy at Home Depot was being a you know insert expletive here you know condescending the way he, he was acting and this just proved the reason why the green light is very dim maybe it's off focus or it's just uh, you know not quite in the socket inside the unit but now I got to deal with returning it and hoping that they have more tomorrow and I figured they had close you know somewhere between two and three hundred looking at all the boxes but you know as they go down in price you know you know what happens anyway while I know that this is more of a repeat of my first video what I did want to do and the only thing new on here was those laser lights which are refusing to come into focus here I guess you can't really appreciate what's going on here let me see if I can zoom in so I mean people say oh that's cheating well yeah maybe a little bit but I did put a lot of lights out there but I want to show you these glasses I bought at, at Lowe's Home Depot I believe has them too but um, you know the different ones like a snowman a Santa Claus um, uh, and a few others which are escaping me but I bought them they're more for kids you go around you look at these lights out on the Christmas trees and stuff and it makes it look like there's a bunch of little Santas or whatever or whatever the sunglasses you want uh, sunglasses they look like 3d glasses so I'm gonna put this in front here and I'm hoping that you could see of course not so let me get in a little closer here what it makes it do is look like this Santas and snowmen bouncing around let's see ah oh, come on I know you can do better than that let me get there right in front and see yeah it's hard to see but this one is uh, Santa's let's see if I can make it do it you can kind of make it out there's a bunch of Santa's on there yeah, I wish I this would do better because it's kind of cool my daughter loved them if you got a kid who loves that kind of stuff okay there you go it's a little better not much but you could see little Santa's there now so that's the Santa's and now I'm gonna do the snowmen oh snowman but it will be men on all the lights and you can see them a little bit see if I can't get any closer without destroying anything yeah you can't get too close but you can kind of see a little snowman as you tilt your head or in this case I'm just going to tilt the glasses you can see they slightly move so let me grab the snow uh, the Santa Claus one again and these were like two bucks and I'll throw them in the box with the other Christmas stuff at the end of the year. But you could see. Yeah, there's uh, Santa Claus. Again, it, it, they're much better uh, and up close, which you actually have them on. It was kind of really cool. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, and you guys have a great one. Happy New Year.